Okay guys, today I'm going to show you a step up, a step motor, not a step up motor, a step motor. Uh, it's made in Japan. It is a brushless motor. It needs a special controller to be able to control that motor. Which in the near future I think I'm going to make a purchase because I have a few of these. And try to get this thing turning another motor. Uh, but right now I have like an old drill motor that's turning the step motor which is putting out enough power to light a bulb. About 150 volts uh, that I tested. And we we'll might do a test so I can show you guys what it's putting out uh, on 5 volts. So basically we're going to watch this light bulb come on. That is a... Uh, LED light bulb. I'm just going to connect to the PC controller to the left here. This is a PC controller. I'm using a red wire, which is 5 volts. That's throwing a lot of light, guys. So, what I'll do is just disconnect from there and I'm going to light a cob bulb. Cob light. Okay, there we go. That is a cob light. And that's really bright because it's shining down, not up right now. I just have it connected to this plug so I can show you how we can run two bulbs pretty much at the same time. If I can make this connection, guys. I uh, blew the thing out. Hold on. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, we got two going right there. Of course, it takes a little bit of power away from the other bowl, but it still runs too. Just wanted to show you that. Now with this setup guys, <clears throat> you have to keep in mind that this motor would have to be rewound uh, left, right, left, right, you know, it would have to be rewound uh, to put out even more power, a lot more power, in fact. Then we would have to, let me shut this off. Then we would have to, um, from the motor, we'd have to get it into a step-up transformer. From the transformer, we'd have to get it to three uh, spark gaps. And it's going at that point, we'll be putting out a lot of power. I don't know, it would be hard to run anything with the power because it would be so high. And that's where you get into being able to run... Uh, other types of motors uh, if you needed to you know but once it gets so high guys you have to get a fuse box you know you have to plug into a fuse box and run wires and and switches and be able to run your maybe your blender or your toaster or your microwave or a small small uh, type of uh, ceramic heater or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I would think you could. I would think you could. Uh, cause it, 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 you'd end up putting a lot of power. I know it's a very tiny motor. This is just a test, guys. This is a small motor. A small uh, brushless step motor. Bigger than your... Uh, Maybe, maybe it could, the size of a helicopter motor, um, that could be stepped up in, in current, in volts. Now, I'm not sure what that would be. If you step up 150 volts, what, what that would step up to. Maybe it would step up to 1,050 volts, uh, you know, something like that. And you run that through three spark gaps. 
you might end, end up with 30,000 volts or, or 50,000 volts, you know. <clears throat> so, it's, it's just awesome, man. Uh, you know, I could turn this into 400 volts if I rewind them coils the right way. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's the problem. The coils need to be rewound. But just the way it is, you know, you put that into a step-up inverter, that's where you're going to trip all your power. And then the spark gaps increase the power a lot more. So, let's run this one more time. Uh, I have one I want to show you that's open and uh, you can see the inside of that. Now these are very small magnets. There's no waste of space because even though you have a magnet here, a magnet here, there's a magnet here on the other side which is picking up for that space and it's just constant power coming out, constant flow of energy I haven't experimented much of anything else that I could run at this time. This is uh, basically where I'm at, and I want to get this set up on a board. I want to uh, get a switch and on off switch here. Um, I also want to get an outlet installed and take it from there. I do want to rewind the stator, uh, you know, to create more power and uh, get a step up uh, transformer step up that uh, energy and, and uh, I'd like to buy three spark gaps if I could find them I've been searching for spark gaps I just can't find the darn things all I see is the skinny ones, the pencil ones I'm looking for the ones like uh, have, the, have the circle and the two ends you twist in closer to get that spark gap that's what I'm looking for. Uh, so, it's going to probably take me a little bit of time, but I wanted to share this with you guys. This is 5 volts that I'm using here. It's a red line. The red is 5. I think the yellow is 12. The orange, I think, is 3 volts. Yeah, so this, I'll just shut that down for now. Uh, uh, fan, because this is round, wound differently, it creates a little heat. But this motor, it's just lukewarm to the touch. It's not even really uh, getting hot at all. So that's a plus. This motor, I noticed, will get a little bit, a little bit hot, a little bit warm. So maybe a fan on this end, since it's a dual port, and you can hook up another motor, another motor. But you'd have to increase power. Um, so basically, guys, you know, a fan here to blow this way to keep this cool. Because of the way it's wired. That's what I'm thinking. If you rewire that the other way... Left, right, left, right, and you go all the way around like that. This is going to be cold to the touch. Now, I'm just starting to experiment this uh, with this system. Uh, I've experimented with the drawer more in pumps. I still got my pump, pump in the box and all that stuff going on. But I want it just connected by a hose from this drill motor to a, to this step motor. I'm connecting with just a hose. I'll show you that hose. Okay, that's the hose I'm using. Uh, 3 16 5 16 I don't know why there would be two sizes on here, guys. Maybe one is the, the outside of the hose and one is the in, inside of the hose. But there's a number here that you can see. Part number T1704. It's a 
clear vinyl tubing. I think I got this at a uh, Home Depot. It was already already measured out 20 feet, and uh, imagine all the all these type of setups you could do with just just 20 feet of hose. It's a lot, you know. Okay, guys, let me show you the inside of that step motor. The magnets. You can see how the one magnet is. You got two magnets on the left, and you have a magnet on the right to take up that space on the be in between those two magnets on the left. That's the way it was uh, figured out by the uh, manufacturer. Kind of see that right there. So brushless. There's no wires attached to anything. So you can see the size of the magnets that's on there. They're very tiny. Very uh, small magnets. So of course increasing the magnet size. And the neodymium magnets on there. You can see that. They're not black. They're silver. So it's uh, neodymium magnets. Now I'm going to show you the coils. Okay, so we got the coils right here. Here was the wires here. We can focus those wires. The lights interfering, so I just want to show you that, guys, by rewiring this uh, left, then coming up, going right, then. then Coming down, coming up, and going left, and then right. You're going to get much more power out of a stator. And by having a better type of wire at the same time. So that's the system here. Okay, guys, I'll try to zoom up to that meter if I can. Uh, reposition this a little bit so we get that meter. Basically, I'm going to run the system. Uh, so we can see that meter right there, and you can see the wires. You can see that I'm actually zooming in. Let me uh, reconnect. Reconnect real quick. Get everything going. That so it stays okay. So we got 155, 56, 155, 156, 57. It looks like it's increasing as it goes a little bit. So 157 volts, guys. Fifty-seven, hundred fifty-six. Uh, I'll just round it off to uh, one hundred fifty or one hundred sixty. Either way, it could go either way, guys. I just want to show you what the meter is kicking out, and that's uh, AC. That's AC. AC voltage. This is DC voltage. That's AC. You know, it's just a harbor freight uh, setup.